Okay, so this is my new experimental tank. This is how it's set up. So this used to be my uh, nano planted aquarium. The no water change, uh, no filter setup that I had. But in the summer it suffered a disaster. The tank started leaking and all the fish died in the heat wave. So after much contemplation I decided to tear the tank down and turn this into this um, experimental tank. So basically this is um, my experiment of testing the simplest setup possible. So basically this is again a no filter tank but it is also quite heavily stocked and I also feed it much more heavily than um, my usual setups. So this tank, the most important component here is this substrate. I kept most of the dirt that was um, originally in the tank at the bottom and I just topped it off with a bunch of sand. So it's pretty thick on this side and a little shallower on this side but this thick substrate is what uh, ends up doing the bulk of the filtration for this tank. And uh, in my previous experiments what I learned is that um, you can feed quite a lot and the substrate will take care of most of the filtration as long as you have um, good oxygenation in the water. So basically what I have here is just an air stone, nothing else. It doesn't have a filter, nothing attached to it. This is just a single air stone. So I could I could very easily have a um, some sort of filter here like a sponge filter like there would literally be, be no downside to having a sponge filter here. But the reason I have this air stone is for this experiment. I want to see if this would actually work. So um, I have a little plastic bottle here. Um, this is just a silencer. So you can see up here the air bubbles um, pop inside the bottle. So that makes it much quieter. If I take it out, you can see it is uh, much louder. So, by having this thing inside here, I get it pretty quiet. Um, as far as the stocking for the tank goes, I have 15 Neon Tetras in here. Um, I have not had a single death yet. They're all doing well. I have, I don't know exactly how many. I started up with uh, 15. I think there's a lot more now. I have some Cherry Shrimp. It should be about 30 or 40, I'm not sure. They like to hide. And also I have a bunch of ram's horns. They are also breeding. There are a whole lot of baby ram's horns in here. So that's basically um, what this tank has. And I have a bunch of rocks and some driftwood that was in the original scape. I just kept them. And I have a little bit of leaf litter that serves as a, a food source um, for the shrimp and the snails and this light here this is a 3 watt uh, light it's uh, LED light it's um, very very inadequate in terms of growing uh, any types of plants I could have some moss in here but I don't because again this is an experimental tank I wanna see how far I can go like if I just wanted this tank um, in this docking I would um, definitely have some moss and some plants and uh, uh, like a sponge filter here but I didn't because I wanted to test whether this would actually work and this light is actually like off most of the time I only use it to view the tank this light is not um, on a timer or anything I just turn it on when I, when I want to just take a look and see if everything's okay that is its only purpose so it's off most of the time and yeah um, it's been two months two months since I set this up and I have not seen a single death or a single crash or anything all the fish are thriving, the shrimp are breeding, and the ram's horns are breeding. So I think this setup, at least in the short term, works. Um, I will continue this experiment at least for six more months to see if it can hold up um, long term. And also, I wanted to uh, keep this going as long as possible to see if this is sustainable for years. Like, that's my ultimate goal. We'll have to see if um, I can make it that long. But yeah, this experiment so far has been going quite well. 
Um, thanks for watching. I'll be doing uh, regular updates on this tank and share if anything new happens.